I am Dr. Rupa, ophthalmologist and lover of all things beauty. And today we are talking about red and pink eyeshadows and if they are safe for your eyes. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. So I remember when I was young, there used to be this urban myth about the red M&Ms. Does anybody else remember that? That you couldn't eat the red M&Ms because they might cause cancer. Anyway, it's kind of like that with the red eyeshadows. People don't really know where it started. Is it safe? Is it not safe? Can you use it? Is it bad for your eyes? Does it stain? So I want to do a deep dive into red and pink eyeshadows and figure out what's really safe for your eyes. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Did you talk about M&Ms, the candy? I was talking about M&M's, but we don't have M&M's here to eat, sweetie. It's just back when mommy was young, they used to think that M&M's were dangerous. For hair? Not for hair, just to eat. Okay, so today we are going to put eyeshadow on my mouth. So are red and pink eyeshadows approved by the FDA? To start with, no cosmetics are FDA approved. They are FDA regulated, so there's a big difference. The Food and Drug Administration, at least here in this country in the U.S., regulates specifically the color additives in cosmetics, and they make sure that companies don't mislabel things. So basically, they're involved if something is mislabeled, so if the company doesn't write all the correct ingredients down, or if it's adulterated, which means if it's like poison or something that shouldn't be in there at all, then they get involved. The FDA says there's certain color additives that are safe around the eyes, and then there's other ones that are safe for cosmetics, like generally your face, but not for use around the eyes or the mouth. Carmine is the only one that's approved for use around your eye. The rest of the colors are these red dyes, there are yellow dyes, they're in a lot of these neon pink and red eyeshadow palettes, and they are actually not approved for use around the eye. There are a bunch of red dyes, Red dye 6, 7, 21, 22, whole host of them, linking down below. Those are not safe for use around the eyes. So there was a big controversy about Huda and her neon pink palette. And if you lifted on the back, you could see that it said not approved for use in the eyes. And it actually does list all the ingredients. It has red 21, 27, and 6, as well as a couple yellow dyes that are not approved for the eyes. And there have been some people that have been really vocal about the staining and the reaction that they had to it. So many red pigments can cause staining and worse is an allergic reaction to it. They can cause itching, redness, swelling, hives. The eyelid skin is the thinnest skin in your body. So it is most prone to develop irritation from any kind of chemical that's being put on it, whether it's skincare or otherwise. So what do you do if your favorite shadow palette is not on that list of approved FDA color additives? Well, if you have sensitive skin, you probably want to stick with things that are approved for use of the eye. It's just better to be safe. If you get an allergic reaction to a product, it's obviously not something that you want to repeat again. It's irritating, but it's not going to be dangerous if it just happens one time. But if you continue using that product, it can cause chronic inflammation that's not reversible. You can develop a lot of chronic changes like hyperpigmentation of your skin or like a real thickening of that eyelid skin. So if you have a reaction, you really wanna make sure that you discontinue the product. And you can have a reaction, whether it is a eye safe approved you know, chemical or not. So you can have a reaction to either. So you really always wanna check the ingredients and lift up in case there is something underneath to get all of the full ingredients. They are mandated by the FDA to actually put that information somewhere on here. So if it's not on a sticker or if it's not on the box or on the package insert, then they can get in trouble with the FDA. So if you know you have a reaction to certain things, I've had one patient who just has a reaction to Carmine and Carmine's on that approved list, just avoid it. So make sure, especially if you know you have sensitive skin, just avoid it um, and really make sure you know what's being put on the surface of your eyes. Kind of 50-50, right? So you can use it if you want, your call, but that's the nitty gritty as to what's safe for the eyes and what's not. And the same goes for, I know a lot of makeup artists won't necessarily buy like, you know, like a night. I just love warm colors. I just, 
I don't know. It's, I feel like it's good on my skin tone, so I really will wear them all the time, but a lot of them will just use blush. And that's the difference between blush and using it if it's an eyeshadow palette, because the eyeshadow palette will have to say not for use in the eyes. And a blush palette might not say that because they're assuming you're not gonna be putting it in the eyes because it's made for general cosmetic use, which these red colors are approved for. So we've got a couple of my favorite eyeshadow palettes here. Now, you're gonna notice that a lot of them don't actually have the ingredients on them. They probably had it on the box or the package insert and I threw them away. So you really need to Google things, especially if you have sensitive skin or if you have an issue. And be mindful about stopping something if you seem to have a reaction to it right away. So guys, this is the red my mom is talking about. After we're done with the next part, um... Wait, you're British now? Oh, I keep changing. Where did you learn how to do a British accent? Don't know. <laughs> But I'm a Stephanie. No, but I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, this is a look, Aria. How did I do? Have you stick or not? Have Wait. you stick? Because you need to always, if you're if you're a mega accident. Almost the end, you spray. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Um, push the bell button and comment down below if you like this video. Also, what do you think of this? Oh, comment down below what you think of this. Let us know if you have any other questions about eyeshadows, colors that are safe to put on your eye, any questions about the FDA approval versus regulation. Happy to answer. Drop them down below. I appreciate it. Bye! Thanks for watching. Mahalo.